Hi, I'm Dr. Duke, and today we're going to go over how we use EPAT at Duke Chiropractic to heal different injuries, and today we're going to talk about a glute medius tear. This is Mindy. She's a local runner, and she runs like 7.30 to 8 minute pace. She had a weird thing happen where she had an Achilles tendon that had a tendonitis, and then it scarred up with tendinosis, and then it altered her gait. She was told to keep running. And as a result, it caused a tear and a strain on the opposite hip. So we're gonna fix this. First, what we do is we heat up the tissue, which we've been doing, so it gets nice circulation. Then I like to pinpoint the area, the target area, so we're not just applying EPAT blindly, because you can't tell where there's scar tissue even if you try to visualize it, you can only really feel it. So I like to first take a Graston instrument to get rid of some of the superficial scar tissue that limits slide and glide to the IT band, to the quad, to the hamstring, to the glute medius, to the tensor fascia lata. In our office, I would use this instrument a lot longer than what I'm doing right now. Then I would take my hands and try to find the exact area. This is called active release technique. And I can feel it like really high up over that tensor fascia lata. Then I can feel it right along that glute medius as it attaches into the hip. So bend this knee towards your chest and I'll, I would loosen this up quite a bit before we did any of the EPAT therapy. Now EPAT is a radial shock wave that delivers an impulse or a pressure wave that dives much deeper into the tissue than we can get with our hands. So I have it set up on an appropriate setting and I'm gonna start first right at the base of that glute medius. Are you ready, Mindy? Yep. All right. Now, EPAT delivers these pressure waves 15 every second. So as a result, during a normal treatment, we would apply over 6,000 impulses into the tissue, and it's controlled by barometric pressure, meaning that the stronger I make it, the deeper it goes. Now, because I use grafted, active relief, I heated the area, I find exactly where I want to apply the pressure wave. And as a result, the pressure wave will burst to scar tissue. It'll create angiogenesis, or new blood vessels will form. And then the cells become very permeable, which means that through osmosis, they start to collect collagen and new tissue begins to build. And essentially, it's like it restarts the healing process. I'm Dr. Duke, and watch our other videos so you can see how we use EPAD and other body parts.